Hi and welcome back to the Bonham Clay channel. So as you might be able to hear, I'm not quite there yet. I'm still working on getting my voice back, but I wanted to get back to it. So today I'm going to show you how to make a peacock. A very, very large peacock with lots of mica powder and lots of glitter. So here we go.
Will I cry? Will I leave behind broken and crumbled signs? Hiding all my roads to you. Uh oh. And if I fight, will I come?
Felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders. I'm closed off. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back. No going back. There's no going back to your own life. Living in the past, we're over that. 
I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Stop us, sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Living in the past I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Thanks for watching the tutorial so I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So this thing turned out absolutely massive. I really really love it. So first of all making the shape, it's sort of an S shape so the I wanted the head to come round and almost like it's looking at you so you can see all of its feathers at the back. This does involve making canes obviously but I really really enjoyed doing that. Um, it's been a while since I've made anything uh, with canes and obviously the process of doing the canes is fairly simple you just got to get your head around what sort of shapes you're making and what you're trying to create so I had lots of pictures printed out of the little feathers um, and the decorations to get an idea of what I wanted to make so let's go top to bottom so here we go a little bit more of a close-up Here's the head. I was really worried about doing the eye shape and the little sort of markings, but to be honest, that was the bit I found the most easiest. Um, it just sort of come together all of a sudden. Um, and then as you saw, I made the neck a bit more um, smoother and moved it round. So it did have more of a deep sort of S shape. Um, little parts that I did at the top, sort of, a, I'm not really sure what you call it, like a headdress type thing. Um, yeah that was quite easy to do i did that last so i sort of worked backwards with this really now i use blue throughout um, as the main sort of color but obviously you cover all these up with the cane so it really doesn't matter you can use scrap clay if you wanted to and it would be an absolute perfect project for that so moving on to the feathery part down the bottom here um i wanted to make as much texture as possible and as you saw to start off with underneath here um in the parts where i've covered it up with mostly the feathery sort of effect and the gold i did put a lot of texture in to start off with but it's this is the sort of thing that it does sort of change as time goes on um, and as i sort of worked on it there was more things that i could do that i felt would be better so i made two different types of canes one in the bright green and then one with a goldy sort of effect and then with the scrap left over i made some little um, decorations that look like feathers at the side so moving on down um, I wanted to add a lot more sort of like a dramatic effect to it which is why I went all the way as far down as I could and then created 
um, more of a feathery look at the bottom. Now one of the things you will notice is it doesn't have any legs or any feet. I am going to add them but I wanted this to go up as soon as possible because the majority of the decoration is done and at some point it will get framed so I will be adding legs and feet but I really really wanted to get this done and up and show sort of a great technique that you can do. So this is how you create an absolutely massive peacock from polymer clay. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Uh, so glad I don't sing for a living. La 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 Oh dear 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 This ain't gonna work is it? Is anyone have a coat? Does it now? Is it now? What? What? Here we go one more time La 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 And this is I don't know La 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 It really should have wraps With lots of different multicoloured polymer colours from all that